PowerPoint files are very commonly used throughout teaching sessions and you might want to enable students to annotate these or if you yourself you want to annotate your PowerPoint slides using a tablet. There are a few processes you can use. The first one would be to convert it to a PDF and annotate it that way and that's actually probably give you the best flexibility and quickest route for annotation and you can see the other video on annotating PDFs but this method just uses the PowerPoint file raw and what we'll do we'll edit it using um, the tablet to add in annotations. So first of all, um, in order to do PowerPoint annotation, you will need Quick Office. Quick Office is an app, again, a free app that you can download onto your device. It allows annotation via editing the slide. So essentially we're adding stuff on top of the slide. It's not true annotation as PDF annotation would be, but it does allow for seamless integration with Google Drive, which means that when you save the file, it automatically saves it back to the cloud, back to your Google Drive, which doesn't occur when you're using PDF annotation. So here are the steps. The first step is to load up Quick Office and with your PowerPoint file already in your Google Drive, you can open up the file from Quick Office. At the very top, once it's loaded into Quick Office, you need to go to the little icons at the top, the little uh, option icons at the very, very top right um, to open up the menu and select Edit. The menu at the top will then change and you will see a menu that looks a bit like this and you'll need to select shape from that menu. This will then change again to the shapes drop down and you will need to select call outs. And then the final menu change for the call outs menu, uh, you will select a call out of your choosing. I'm just going to use this example here. And this will be how you add your annotations to the slides. So once you've selected the shape, you then tap onto the slide to place the call out. Then tapping in the middle of the call out itself will bring up the keyboard and allow you to type in your notes. So this overlays on top of the slide content. When you've added the your notes, you need to click the done check at the very top left of Quick Office. Don't forget to save it though. And you can use the icon at the very top right of the screen to save your PowerPoint file and that will automatically save back to Google Drive. When you're done, you can go back to other files within your Google Drive by clicking the back arrow at the very top left of Quick Office.